and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last budget deck of the day. Uh, we're going through all five colors, making a budget deck with each color. Um, you know, if you're watching this later on YouTube, hey, McBitter, thanks to Twitch Prime Sub. If you missed any of the other videos, you know, you can click on over there. I, I'm not putting the records up, so not to spoil how they did. Um, but anyway, for for the uh, constraints for our budget deck, or like what, what we're going with um, for the criteria, is I'm going with um, eight, no more than no more than eight rares in any deck. So that's like two play sets of rares, and no more than two mythics. So our two mythics are going to be the Vivians. Our rares we have three Dryad and four Setessen champions. We got seven rares in this one. Um, we could play a Green Castle to just get the eighth rare in here, but honestly, I don't know if we really need a Green Castle in here. Um, but I guess it, like it wouldn't hurt. But oh well. Um, but besides that, so mono green was, you know, you know, trying to pick out our mono green deck. We're going with the enchantment theme for our budget and we're, so it's an enchantment and also spells that target our stuff. So, you know, we're going season of growth, set and champion. These are our engine cards. Um, and, uh, we got lots of enchantments. We got set and training that, you know, we'll enter, draw a card. If we have either a season or a season of growth or set and champion, we'll draw an extra card. Um, War Briar Blessing gives us some removal, but it's also an enchantment uh, to trigger our other stuff. Um, a lot of our creatures are enchantments. We got enchantment creatures with Spinner, Dryad, Nyx Herald, and Renata. Um, <clears throat> going, th going with the Dryads, it doesn't matter that all of our lands are other basic land types. Basically, going with Dryads so we can play multiple lands a turn. Because this deck can draw a lot of cards. The Season of Growth drawing extra cards, Setess and Champion drawing extra cards. We can actually draw a whole lot of cards with this deck. And of course, Wanderer can get us extra lands also. Um, so with, with the combination of those 12 cards, we can get a lot of extra cards. And so then Dryad lets us play um, more lands out so that we can have uh, more mana, so we can play more stuff and draw more cards and so on. I'm playing three Binding of the Titans to help look for a Champion because of how important Setessen Champion is. You know, that first chapter we mill three, <clears throat> and then the third chapter where we put something back into our hands. Um, I'm not sure. This this may be too slow, honestly. Uh, we're, we'll kind of see whenever we play it. We're playing three of them. It could just end up being, like, too slow of a saga. Um, but, you know, that, that's what we'll see. We have a sideboard over here, even though it's best of one, because of Vivian's minus five ability, saying you choose a creature card you own from outside of the game and put it into your hand. So our sideboard, I'm not using rares or mythics either. So we got a bunch of commons and uncommons over here as cards that we can grab. Um, we could get something like Vigor Spore, Vigor Spore Worm to give some creature uh, plus X, plus X, and Vigilance, you know, give, make it a huge creature and then like been you know like i said test and champion make it even bigger and then nyx herald gives it trample and you know we just got got a bunch of stuff like that over here all right so let's see how budget mono green does um you know i'll be happy with a record around 500 let's see if we can get there Aggressive Mammoth is a rare, but I guess I think it's like given to you in like a in like the new player bundles, but still. Okay, we'll keep. I'm only playing 22 lands, even though we kind of need, you know, need to hit land drops with the deck because we have so much card draw. But we need that third land to start with this Atessan champion right now. Oh, I, yeah, I need to change my avatar to Vivian, right, for a green deck. Hmm. But we did not hit that third land. Oh, no! The focus and just That's not good. And prepare.
It's because we didn't change our avatar. All right, we'll get our green kitty cat. Got our green sleeves. <clears throat> This Narset just shuts me down. Thanks, Wizard. Thank you so much. Activate Castle Ardenville. Yeah, you could use the last rare slot for Ceratops in the sideboard. I would, I would probably rather have a, a green. I think it'd probably be better to have a green um, castle, honestly. Narset just shuts me down so, so much. Sweet. My favorite shell for Hushbringer is uh, Boros. I played a, a Boros. Kind of, it's like aggro mid range deck probably about a week ago. That's my favorite. Hushbringer shell. I'm just going to bring Narset back. Alright, 0 and 1. I think all of our budget decks are like O and OX against blue white decks. Oh, I guess the, the blue one did fine against blue white. But all the other ones, we can't beat any of the blue white variants with our budget monocolor decks. Alright, this hand's promising. Oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't even think of the avatar. Gotta remind me before that. Oh, 
Hello. Cool, a temple garden. That is a land that we have not seen yet today. So it looks like they got Selesnya enchantments over here. Don't kill my champion. Boo. That's a Tessin champion. We don't need to be fighting. Could be a waste. Getting rid of that spinner. Yeah, maybe they have like double set test and champion in hand and I need to kill both of those. We got seven of our 22 lands already. <clears throat> Look skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. It's not a bad draw. I wish I didn't play that other Wolf Briar Focus, Elemental. Show me my path. I don't think naturalize is a like I mean it depends like naturalize effects are definitely main deckable but like just the patterned future naturalize specifically you know like return to nature is, is just a better naturalize if like if you want to play that specific card but yeah naturalize effects um, are certainly pretty good Yeah, sweepers and planeswalkers. That's that's the bane of budget decks for sure. Sweepers and planeswalkers. But also drawing eight eight of your twenty-two lands doesn't help either. That game is about that banishing light on the Satessan champion. Oh, Avatar?
Too late. These blessings are probably really good against red. They can be good here if we get to actually untap with our Setessen Champion. Like if we untap with Setessen Champion, I feel pretty good. Well, you know, obviously we'll see what happens, but it's not very likely that we untap with Setessen Champion. I only got two cards. Can we stop drawing so many lands. Millions of lands. All right, I guess I'm dead. Why, what's the deal with everybody just saying good game before, like, the game's even over? Why is everybody doing that? Yeah, that was, that was a great game. All right, our Chandra avatar has been really bad luck with our green deck. I will protect the virtue of how this thing goes is up to you, pal. So now we'll see how we do with the Vivian avatar. All right, so I'm skeptical about these Binding of the Titans, but, you know, like, this will be a test for them. I guess yeah, we're just not going to have time for him. Lead with the De Destiny Spinner up next. Street Dodger, of course, is an enchantment. Or sorry, their Street Dodger is a rogue, so they'll be able to get my enchantment creature with it. Double binding. Because binding, what well, gains me, what, four life the next turn? No, let's just play the spinner. The one binding, one spinner. Get, get to double spell. if we can beat these dodgers to be a dodgy proposition all right they're gonna let me kill one dodger that's good oh i should have i should have blocked this bitter i should have blocked this bitter
Sweet. We're about to gain some life. A little bit of life, at least. Look at that. We play Vivian Avatar. We win. That was the only reason why we lost our first three, is we didn't have Vivian Avatar. There probably wasn't any other reason. Are we on the play this time? Or are we still on the draw? Ooh, we actually get to be on the play. Yay. Well, this could get out of hand quickly. We get to have multiple Satessan champions in play. Cool, Starnak. Yeah, glad and glad you're liking that change. Oh, I hope they don't have claim the firstborn. Or just anything that kills my Satessan champion in general. Mayhem Devil, or really any card. <laughs> Let me just do my thing for a little bit. have playing the first one. Actually, the Wanderers are small enough. That. Um, can't actually fight the priest. That's good, getting rid of the Nightmare Shepherd. Next turn, I can play Champion and Blessing, and then uh, have the Champion kill the Priest. Uh -oh. They can't kill Champion, right? Because no, they can only just do two damage.
Okay. So this is why, you know, all this card draw, this is why we have the, uh, that, the 2-4 that lets us play all the extra lands. No, I, I like, the only way to kill the champion in response is, is using priest activation. As far as I know. Because, like, they couldn't, like, sack Cauldron Familiar does one damage, Cauldron Familiar comes back, does a second damage, but that's only two damage. So they would have had to get rid of their Mayhem Devil, so, like... Like that, I'm fine with them getting rid of the Mayhem Devil. So obviously, Mayhem Devil is a big problem. All right, so now these things do two damage. Eat. So now they can do two, four. So now they can do four damage a turn. Yuck. Oh, that's true. Tri yeah, Judith doesn't trigger on the food. Yes, it's only so it's three damage. That's true. All right. So options are get Dryad and play more lands, or get this get another Setessen champion. So I have five, so I'll have six mana. Um, if I get champion, I can only play like champion plus spinner. If I get dryad, I can go dryad and spinner and binding. I think I want the dryad. I just have so many lands. We're gonna, we're gonna draw a lot of cards. We just need to be able to play all these lands. Do in between. Tilt. Tilt. Uh, <laughs> I set it up so exactly so that just the champion hit a land and the other two didn't. So that hurts. Alright, the other two hit those and then the champion draws Renata. Alright, that's fine. That was the worst possible outcome. Need to give Satessan Champion a Trample. Attacking with it right now, they just block with Cauldron Familiar. And then bring it back and I just take I just take two damage basically for nothing. So Renata just says all my other creatures enter with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. I basically don't have the I don't have enough gain life for how much damage all of this is doing. All that's gonna end up here is likely just me dying. Feel good about the next card. Next one's gonna be good. Ooh, that's a good one. A 
was a good one. Don't I scry? Oh no, I only scry. Scry the next two. So our deck could do some some crazy stuff. We need to give our creatures trample though. Yes, I need that. Oh wait, so Tessin Champion gives oh so that gives it trample. Okay. So it has champ it has trample now. Okay, so now we're talking. Alright, so they did not kill my other champion. Down to 19 cards. We just keep on thinning our deck. I don't think I even survive here. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm taking 14. But attacking is definitely not a good way for me to survive. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I'm taking 14. We have 19 cards. Putting a spoiler in the description of the last video. Ouch. Because Blessing and <clears throat> Training both say Enchant Creature you control. So whenever they steal it and then those enchantments fall off. So yeah, I assume this is 10 damage. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I mean, this is 12, 13, 14. Yeah, they have like 14 damage. But they may not, I don't know, maybe they're not killing me. Um... Let's Grove Dancer. What's Grove? What's Grove Dancer? Gain life whenever you put a land to the graveyard from anywhere. Yeah, so that, that only works with the binding in our deck. 
I would honestly rather just have the three mana card where you gain life equal to your devotion to green. I'd rather have that creature, even though the Grove Dancer is an enchantment, though. So I guess that that's a good part about it. That is definitely something that's good about it. Nexus Wardens for life gain? What's Nexus Warden? Is that the gain, gain life equal to your devotion to green? I want that card, but I need more land. Nexus Wardens, 2 and a, two and a G, 1, 4, Reach, Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters, you gain 2 life. Yeah, I could see playing one or two of those, honestly. I don't love the binding cards. Like, I could see playing one or two of those. Um... Really need another land. So play champion and then play the other stuff. Oh man. I can't just put champion down to the bottom though, can I? No, I can't. I have the blessing for, for fighting, not... I don't have, um... Rabbit Bite. Oh gosh. It could attack. I, I was assuming they weren't going to block again, but I guess I could have attacked first and see if they changed their mind. No, season just drew cards. Like all these enchantments that we put on our on our stuff, we draw cards. Season. That's why season just drew us two cards. That's why we have season of growth in our deck.
just dead. I, I can't kill Drake. This is just does three. I can fight with. I could do three damage. Both these things have four toughness. And that's lethal. Just casting the chemistry's insight. I mean, I, I don't know the I don't know the paper price of Dryad. I don't know. Dude, budget with you know it's just one it's one rare wild card. Yeah, I could have like one spider instead of one Renata. Sure, yeah, I could do that. No, not Narset. Uh, this this combo really beat us down earlier. Birth of Meletius. Narset. I can't I can't like attack through to get to Narset. And I can't draw extra cards because the Narset. Alright, well. Looks like the, the green version is the worst of our budget decks. Looks like. Game's just over. Bleh. Yeah, the deck does take time to set up in Dirtles a lot, yeah. Green doesn't have like the best interaction. A lot of the best green cards are rares and mythics. You know, green's usually a su support color. You don't see very many mono green decks. Like you usually have to have two colors with green. So you need another color for interaction. All right, so this hand will have a lot of lands. I don't know what we're going to be doing with those lands yet. Of course it's auto. Always interested. Yeah, put it put it in the Discord. Some extra land. We need to set this up. We need to, yeah, there we go. We want to check for a land first and then scry so we can set up our next turn. Champion's a good one. And I want to play Dryad over Renata because I don't want I don't want Clarion to kill both my creatures.
Do I want to draw that? It is an enchantment. At least it'll trigger. Champion. Hey, what's up, boot? Yeah, where do you want to put it? Yeah, any, wherever you want. Like, if it's a best of one deck, a best of three deck, you can put it whatever room you want. All right, doing good. Doing good. I wish our mono green deck would do would have done better, but all the other decks did did well. Just had one one deck do poorly. Draw my cards first. Is it better to kill Sphinx of Foresight or Cavalier of Gales? Probably Sphinx of Foresight. I guess it's only going to be four power anyway. Good thing I didn't. <laughs> Good thing I. I did target this this Sphinx of Foresight. Correct, Sarah. So this is we're doing arena budget, not paper budget. Um, I didn't I didn't look up the paper prices, but yes. Yeah, I know. Um. The the mono blue deck, mono blue budget deck was is not only the best budget deck. It's like it's the best deck, but then also. It. It's the best deck, but it's also the cheapest. And I talked about on there how you can you can play the deck with zero rares and zero mythics. You can play just only commons and uncommons, and it's still. Just fine. Dude, draw, scry, draw. No, green is the worst one. But we get to do some cool stuff, as you can see here. To do some cool stuff in this deck. This is going to be like a draw four. I guess dr draw five. Fourteen. Where am I at? My twenty two cards in the library.
Kind of wish I would have played the other Dryad instead of that Nyx Herald. <clears throat> to play another land, but I guess this is lethal now. Yeah, 22. There, 22. Boom, 22. There we go. <laughs> exactly the... Yeah, I guess I could have done one one extra damage if I would have played the other Sotets in tra training, but we had exact lethal, so it's all good. So that's what our deck can do whenever it starts... You know, whenever it gets to, to snowball with Sotets and Champions, he's in a growth. Um, let's lead with Wanderer. Grixis control. I want them to take a Renata called to the hunt. Renata hasn't been very good, unfortunately. Hmm. No, there goes season of growth. Darn it. Shouldn't let them take the season of growth. Definitely thought about that. Oh, there's a couple champions, it's not good. So Renata doesn't die to Ritual of Soot. Of course, they could have Storm's Wrath. Okay, good. No, not good. Hmm. Let's do... Yeah, let's do this order. Ah, two season of growths. Now let's get the binding out here first so we can start going towards the um going towards that third chapter if they kill my Setessin champion. Thanks, fish. Alright, so they have the castle of Vantress, so they get to keep scrying. Don't really need to exile one of my cards from my graveyard to gain that extra life. I'll save the war buyer blessing for after I will return. 
after I return Satessan Champion, because I'm about to return Satessan Champion back to my hand. Again. At least I have some extra fuel to exile. I outsmarted you eons ago. Got a lo little bit of fuel. Should have played Season of Growth earlier. Definitely my biggest regret to this game is not playing the Season of Growth. Because Grixis certainly has a usually has trouble dealing with Season of Growth. Evolution Sage doesn't really help our our goal of our deck. I have just the trick for this. Don't want my Destiny Spinner getting Legions ended. I like the Destiny Spinner. I like playing it and being able to have a haste creature with it. We need our haste creature to be a little bit bigger. Okay. We got to do some cool stuff with this game too, but Fires of Invention is too much, too much free mana. Meditate and prepare. No weakness I cannot exploit. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. Alright, so I can. Uh... <clears throat> so I can get rid of.
I can get rid of Chandra or get rid of Narset. Probably need to get rid of Chandra. But obviously we can't draw multiple cards a turn with Narset in play. So I, I really don't have a chance. I needed to... Um, I needed to play Season of Growth on turn three, not Setessum Champion. That was, that was definitely where I lost this game. That and, of course, the, the turn four fires into millions of good cards. That, that's also where I lost the game. Yeah, and Bolas Ultimate. <clears throat> yeah, that, that second thought erasure to take the season, that was crucial. All right, so we didn't do as well with our budget mono green deck. I'd have to say that our, our worst card was... We never cast a Vivian, I don't think. Uh, why? I guess my numb lock's off. There we go. Never cast a Vivian. Our worst card was this Renata. It really didn't do much, especially for a four mana card. You know, if we're playing like Questing Beast or something like that, that'd actually do something. Um, Binding of the Titans was okay. Didn't love it. It was also just kind of pretty slow. So I think Binding of the Titans and Renata were like our our cards that weren't very impactful and pretty slow. Um, but yeah, I just don't have good interaction. You know, we have these War Briar Blessings, which are cool. You know, they get to draw cards, but um, we just saw that over and over, them not actually killing creatures because our, our creatures are, you know, like 1-3s, 2-3s, and stuff like that, and so we couldn't kill our opponent's stuff. Um, Satessan so Training looked awesome, especially, you know, like Season of Growth ch Training Champion. Like, these definitely looked awesome. Um, but yeah... Needs needs some more power, man. We only have twenty two. Yeah, we had like basically all of our lands that last game. I think we had like fourteen or fifteen of them. But of course, that happens with Wanderer. Um. Yeah. So that that's definitely some some good stuff with our deck, but really needs like a second caller for interaction. Um. Or that those slots, like those seven slots with Binding and Renata, we need more impactful cards than what those were. Um, yeah, I think that's what we've got. <clears throat> All right, so that's Budget Mono Green. So there's our Budget uh, series. If you're watching on YouTube, let me know how you like them. Um... Like I said, I'll, I think I'll try to make some budget decks for two color decks in the future. Um, you know, I don't don't know exactly when that'll be, but you know, like that that's something I'll do in the future as well. Um, but yeah, we'll move on to our our other our other decks. All right, so thank you so much for watching some budget mono green and just all the budget series in general, and I will see you for the next video.